This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're talking about the BB60C hardware. The BB60C is a real time hybrid super heterodyne FFT spectrum analyzer. It is a combination of swept tuned and FFT based analyzers. The front panel includes a 50 ohm SMA RF input, and the rear panel has three connectors a 10 MHz reference input output, USB 3.0 micro B female connector, and a multi purpose BNC connector primarily for the trigger input. When paired with Spike, the BB60C offers multiple modes of operation. Hello and welcome to Talking RF. Sean here with Justin Crooks, Senior Engineer at SignalHound, and today we're talking about the BB60C RF input, dual function BNC cable ports, and the locking USB 3.0 connection. The BB60C is an extremely popular, feature-packed and versatile piece of test and measurement equipment when in the lab, or out in the field. Can you walk us through like the, the product itself here? Maybe just talk a little bit about the ports, a little about the input, um, anything important that maybe people don't understand or don't know that they should know? Um, yeah, so RF input, uh, pretty obvious. Um, the important things to know about the RF input is uh, it can be sensitive to both ESD and overpower. Um, probably the one thing that a new user of a spectrum analyzer should be aware of is if you're connecting a, an antenna to the RF input directly, um, you know, you've got some connector body and then you've got some, some metal you know, whip antenna or something. When you touch that metal antenna, maybe to adjust it or, or reposition it, you are touching the actual RF path and any electrostatic discharge from your finger can easily damage any spectrum, spectrum analyzer's input port. Mm. Um, on this end, we have you know, your 10 megahertz reference um, with the BB60C that can be in or out, which is useful for interconnecting, but because it's in out, it, um, it isn't quite as good as our, a lot of our newer models are, have an input only, uh, which is going to give you the best possible you know, phase noise and, and spurious performance. Mm. Um, Next is the USB 3. This is a, a micro B locking uh, cable. Uh, sometimes USB 3 vision cables, uh, kind of a layman's term for, for this type of USB locking cable. Mm. Um, once the thumb screws are, are tightened, it's, you, know, you can move this around and it, it'll stay connected pretty well. Um, the uh, trigger and sync port has a lot of different uses. Um, uh, one is just simply as a, as a PPS signal. You know, you can uh, connect it to a GPS, and when that PPS comes in, uh, you, we have a software tool that will turn that into an actual timestamp mm -hmm. for the IQ data. Um, so if you need to know not only you know, that something is happening, but exactly when it's happening, uh, the using the trigger as a as a PPS input um, works out really well. Um, it can also be used uh, for synchronizing one of our tracking generators, mm -hmm. so that either the TG44 or the TG124, um, and that way we can have those firmware controlled uh, scalar network analyzer sweeps um, uh, that uh, you know can give you insertion loss, and if you add a a coupler, you can get return loss of a filter or a, a, a antenna or whatever you're testing. Um, it can also just be used as a general purpose uh, trigger input. So if you want, let's say you're you're testing a PLL circuit, and you know you you have a like a rising edge on the chip enable of that of that chip. You know if you tie that to the trigger input, uh, now you can time exactly how long it takes from that rising edge of that signal to whatever event in the spectrum or, or time domain that you're, that you're looking for. So it's, it's, very, it's a powerful feature and, and has a lot of applications. And it seems like a ver pretty versatile product as well. It's, it's got a lot of, uh, yeah, like you said, like a lot of features, a lot of a uh, aspects of like, you know, people out in the field can use it for multiple different things. For sure, for sure, yeah. Um, the BB60C, I think it's still one of our best selling products and it's just been tremendously popular. If you have any questions about the BB60C, leave them in the comments section below.
Like, follow, and subscribe for more Signal Hound and RF content.